everyone. So guess what? I was baptized this last weekend. Ooh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I was baptized in Jesus Christ's name. It's really great. Um, I just, I don't know. I happened this last weekend at City Church in Lloyd, the church that I go to now. It's so great. Um, and yeah, I did like a little testimony there, um, but I figured I wanted to do it here as well for those who want to know. Because I know some of you have been following this insane journey of mine. And wow, have we ever come a long way. <sighs> right? Man, it just blows my mind. It blows my mind that I was... I used to be the person who made fun of Christians. Like, straight up. I'm going to suffer. Maybe I already have suffered. But I'm going to suffer for a lot of the, the shit I used to talk to Christians. Like, my boyfriend. I We used to work together long before... Um, we dated and, uh, you know, he became this Christian and I would be like, oh, if God is real, then why this? And, and Jesus is just a guy and blah, blah, blah. Like I was totally one of those people, totally one of those people who was so rude to people who were in love with their, their, with Jesus. I was mean to them totally. And so it's so funny that here I am. Uh, you know, and I think that was a lot of it. I was reluctant to even open the Bible, okay? I was studying, you know, 2020 really woke me up out of a, a long slumber. Really woke me up to the atrocities of the world, uh, who's running the world, who's doing all of the... Ugh. And so I was deeply down rabbit holes. I was deeply studying Freemasons and I was studying, like, the Satanists that run, like, like, I, I knew that I hated the devil and I hated the Antichrist, but I still was not ready to admit that God was God and that Jesus was, was truly the, is coming back. You know, I was just, I wanted any other answer. I wanted something. I wanted, I wanted there to be, you know, this craziness. Um, these, you know, I wanted there to be monsters and, and eight gods and, and all that crazy, crazy craziness. And, um, but every, <laughs> in the truth or community, um, which I've been a part of for three years now, I, it seems to be a trend that a very high percentage of truthers, um, say that every rabbit hole leads to God. Um, and it's kind of, it's true. It's true. Uh, cause, cause for a while I was, I was believing that, um, the only way to defeat Freemasons was with Jesus, but there's got to be all these secret other things, and I got to do magic, and I got to learn about aliens, and I got to learn about the tunnel people, and I got to learn about, you know. And as much as I still want that knowledge eventually, maybe someday, I, I, I was so obsessed with it. Like, I was obsessed with trying to find, like, supernatural things to defeat. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> it sounds so fucked, but, but for real. And so while I was studying all this evil and murder and, 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 you know, all of those things, you know, my boyfriend was like, hey, like, stop studying such evil things. Maybe you fucking open the Bible. And so um, I finally did. And the only reason I did was to prove to him that the Bible is lies. And then it was all... That, that Jesus was a mushroom. I believed that um, somebody had told me this thing, this theory about Jesus and the mushroom theory. And so I looked into it. I watched a couple documentaries and I was believing it. And so then I was trying to make him believe it. Like, man, Jesus isn't real. He was always just a mushroom. Oh, so blasphemous now, right? But um, so I opened up the Bible, man. I started reading that shit to, pr actually, I, I started opening, I started reading it for two reasons. One, to prove that Jesus was a mushroom, and two, to, um, um, to prove that the earth was flat because of the firmament thing. Um, whatever. Um, that's a topic for another day. But, yeah. So I open the Bible, I start reading it, and it speaks to me, like speaks to me directly to the point where I read it and then I close it and I open it and it 
And it's like, okay, so then I go out with my daily life and things started happening in my life. God started working in my life because I was talking to him. I was reading this Bible and I was talking to him because I, I've always believed that like something's been watching over me, but I just want, I thought it was aliens or angels or whatever. Um, might be all of them, but most importantly, God is always there. He's always just there. And he's been there my whole life. Like so many things like you guys have seen so many things that I've done that could have been way fucking worse. But I really feel like God was like, just not, you know, don't die. Don't ruin your life too much. Don't, you know, you know, I, I wanted to kill myself for so long. I fantasized about suicide and for the first time ever, like that's not even on my mind, but you know what? When I went to the baptism class to do this baptism, because I wasn't sure if I could get baptized because I was like Roman Catholic baptized when I was a baby, but then I learned that that's just a dedication and you really have to like choose it in your own heart later as an adult or teenager or whatever. And so um, the day that I chose to be baptized, like the day I signed up for it and decided and I left this class, I went home and fuck man, my brain, it was like, just kill yourself, just kill yourself, just, just get it over with. Just stop fooling everybody with your bullshit and just kill yourself. That's what was, that's what the devil was saying in my brain, in my own head. And you know what? Normally in the past, I would have taken that and done some drugs and went to sleep and cried and, or done something really horrible. But this time, man, I just opened my Bible app. I turned on the word of God and I let it play and I was excited to be baptized. Um, because like the devil tries to use your past against you all the time, but God wants to use your past to liberate you, to free you. And so I believe that my like, you know, uh, shitty life, like my nude modeling and all this sexuality and sex work is work. Like, no, not only is that a bad thing for women as a population, but, or a, or a sex class, but, um, you know, selling sex and selling photos of yourself is hard on your soul, personally. And if it's not yet, it will be. And maybe it won't be. Like, it's not for me to decide. But I believe that I, a lot of the things I've done and, and been successful at, unfortunately, like, I got so many followers just from showing my boobs every Tuesday. And I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just, and you know what? That's the best part. That's the best part about God is that he just forgives you, even when you don't say sorry. Like, how? And so I want to be that. I want to forgive people that may never apologize to me. I want to, you know, I want to just live that life, man. I want to walk the way Jesus walked. I want to love how he loved. And I want to set a better example for my daughter. And I want to set a better example for my friends too. Like a lot of my friends are not my friends anymore. <laughs> a lot of my friends are not my friends anymore because I don't want to be, I don't want to be a stumbling block for my brothers. I want to lift my brothers up and send them to high places. And, and I want to watch them be successful. I don't want them to be looking at pictures of girls and sending the messages all day when they have, you know, significant others to look after, right? So I don't want to be a stumbling block. I'm not going to be a stumbling block. And like, man, my rage, I'm not that angry anymore. Like people still straight up like just bully me online and I don't even feel the need to like get mad or respond or anything. It's just like, peace be with you. You know, you'll, you'll find God someday and I hope you do. And that's on my heart and so I just wanted to share that and I probably rambled and didn't say what I wanted to say again and that's okay and and have a great day and <laughs> love fuck. I, I gotta stop swearing that's the one thing I'm working on but um, I love Jesus Christ and I'm glad to be baptized <laughs>